Well, uh, my life business plan has always been if you do good things, good things happen. So I like to do good things that help people to have an opportunity to have better lives and uh, that has afforded me the opportunity to play with pretty cool technology. My name is Steve Rode. I am the chief pilot with the Wake Forest Fire Department and I uh, handle the drone operations. My name's Ron Early. I'm Fire Chief Wake Forest Fire Department here in North Carolina. Wake Forest Fire Department is a very progressive fire department. We've got about 130 members, five stations, uh, and we serve about 48,000 people. Our business is saving lives. So any opportunity that we can be on the cutting edge of technology is critical. And if we're able to get on scene quicker, receive data quicker, faster, in theory equals us saving more lives. Uh, UAVs absolutely save lives. In the last 18 months, there's been an average of one life saved a week with a drone. Our drone carries two different cameras, a visual camera and a thermal camera. In the case of looking for somebody search and rescue, we can look for the heat signature of a human, and whether it's a water rescue or finding a missing person to a building on fire. The drone gives us not only a different view of a situation, but different speed capacities as well. UAV uh, provides us instant information from a different perspective. It is almost looking at a 3D model versus a 2D model. We use this in order to provide that data that we need to see ahead of our uh, vehicles actually showing up on scene. It's one thing for me to be able to see the picture, it's another thing to have other people who are making decisions or who can provide input to see the picture. And the ability to live stream is really a key factor for us. So we go out from the uh, controller into a Webcaster X2 box and out of that into a hotspot, which then goes out on a private YouTube channel that we can distribute the URL to. You know, with some clicks and sending the, the URL, any of the command staff can pull it up on their smartphone or tablet or computer. By having that real-time view, you can see exactly what, what's happening and you don't have to rely on secondhand information. Not only does it let you know what's going on to instant, where it's going, it also lets you monitor your crews somewhat to see where they're at and make sure that you're sending them in the right direction. And a live feed from a drone that can show up onto a scene quicker may truly have an impact on do we need to continue sending all these trucks? Do we need to add more units to the scene? And even the incident commanders, before they even arrive on scene, they can see what's going on. We're able to make decisions before even showing up on scene. <laughs> Reliability is everything. The last thing you want to do is pull out some sort of technology uh, at the moment that you need it in an emergency and it doesn't work for some reason. The webcaster has been completely reliable that it always will put out a signal. The reality is there is so much new to learn when you're bringing on a UAV or a drone. And so having solutions that allow you to do more things like stream a live feed that are simple and reliable are critical. The UAV, as far as a future, uh, there's a lot of unknowns right now. But at the very least, we can see the future of, again, having that different perspective with its speed, its three-dimensional perspective, I think will have a major impact on our future. Uh, UAV systems is going to be important. It's on its way into the fire service.